uh, right now, if you're trying to catch the sunset, you might want to pay attention to Katie's update right now and forecast because in certain parts, it's not looking so nice outside. There are some storms out there. Yeah. Most of us have picked up a little bit of something in the rain gauge today, and that's going to be the name of the game the next several days. Yeah. You want to make sure you have that rain gear close. Rain chance is going up to 70 and 80 percent, mm -hmm. meaning the likelihood mm -hmm. of you being affected it's at pretty some high. point or several <laughs> times during the day. That's pretty high, yeah. so just keep that in mind. But for now, those showers and storms are starting to thin out here across southwest Florida. But as Shari said, regardless, you might be dealing with some of that wet weather. For example, one of those little storms dying out right now, Fort Myers Beach stretching back towards Sanibel. Also monitoring this big downpour right here over Arcadia, producing some lightning strikes as well. So right along 17, that intensity and rainfall is going to be picking up here in short order. There's that little shower that is showing signs of weakening. Excellent news there. If you are venturing off to the beach. Iona McGregor down toward Shell Point Boulevard across the Sanibel Causeway to the Sanibel Lighthouse. Notice at this point just tracking some of that light to moderate rain and this is slowly drifting down toward San Carlos as well as Fort Myers Beach. So heads up there. Uh, Stero Island you're going to be up against some of that light to moderate rain but again not seeing much in the way of lightning. As I mentioned earlier most of us picked up a little bit of something in the rain gauge. There are a couple of pockets where we didn't but some of those areas where you see the green, that's where we saw heavy rainfall accumulating to at least an inch. And speaking of a spot that was getting hammered right around 5 p.m., this is what it looks like right now. It is picture perfect in downtown Fort Myers from the beautiful Luminary Hotel. All is quiet. The Caloosahatchee River nice and quiet as well after a pretty intense storm again right about an hour ago. So here are those weather headlines for today. Showers and storms, they're going to stay likely tomorrow, Wednesday, heading into Thursday. Then we look ahead to the weekend. That's when things are going to start to change up a bit. First off, fall officially begins at 2.50 a.m. on Saturday morning. And then over the weekend, you'll notice your rain chances dropping back. Well, what's the cause behind that? It's this, an area of low pressure, a subtropical low. At this point, we're not even expecting it to be tropical. Regardless, it's forecast to develop right here off the southeastern coastline. What it's going to be doing for us, helping to drive in some drier air. So we will be on that side of the system as it pulls away. So as of now, 30% chance of further development over the next seven days. But again, for us, we'll have some drier air because of it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then cross the pond right here. This wave forecast to roll off the coast of Africa. This will likely become our next depression late week heading into the weekend. Of course, plenty of time to monitor. And then in case you missed it, we have Hurricane Nigel. Nigel expected to become a Category 2, a strong cat 2, possibly right on the cusp of a Category 3 over the next day or so. And then it is forecast to weaken Thursday heading into Friday and then eventually become a remnant low over the cooler waters of the North Atlantic. That said, it could bring some indirect impacts to, say, Ireland as well as the UK heading into the weekend. So we'll be monitoring that, but no threat to the United States whatsoever. As for our weather here at home, one reason why our rain chances will be staying elevated for the next couple of days is this cold front, which will slowly but surely work its way through southwest Florida. But for us, it's going to keep our rain probabilities in the likely range. So tomorrow morning, isolated storm coverage picking up throughout the afternoon. Pretty widespread, fairly numerous, just like today. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, expected to be fairly active. So that school day planner sending the kiddos off to the bus stop, mostly cloudy, 76. But heading into the afternoon, you'll want to make sure that everybody has that rain gear close. Seven day forecast, we keep those storm chances likely through Thursday. Then by Friday, some of that drier air starts to work its way in.